Hi, it's Christian here. Uh, tonight I'm gonna tie a an ESL shrimp, uh, a pink version, uh, which I have high hopes for for the upcoming winter fishing. And the reason why I'm tied a, I've tied a pink one is because I got hold of some, uh, some pink polar bear recently. So I just had to try this um, for a fly and uh, I think it looks great on, the, on this one. So um, I'm going to show you how to do it. It's not uh, very hard to tie. Uh, I tied these ones before. You can see it on my channel uh, in, in different colors. They ride perfect in the water and they catch fish as well. And uh, I was missing out on a pink version, and I'm a big uh, fan of pink flies for winter fishing. So um, here's the pink version. Can't all be the, the pedigrees. This one is uh, could be a, a new pedigree. Who knows? Well, uh, materials uh, is some uh, mallet, pink mallet from Flyco. Of course, the the polar bear in pink, dyed pink. Could use some uh, pink um, or light, uh, pink or light red um, ghost hair instead. If you don't have polar bear, I'm gonna use a few uh, few uh, swaths of this uh, super hair just for the antennas. And I'm gonna use two uh, semi seal. And I'm gonna use two use two sorts of uh, semi seal: the coho pink one and the, the shrimp belly. Yep. And the thread I'm gonna use is a nylon thread, and then this time I think I'm gonna use a white GSP thread from Weavers as well. And the hook is, of course, the light stinger, size 6 from Adrix. And a pair of black uh, Easy Frame Eyes, uh, extra small black ones. And a Port Fisher uh, pink is shrimp shell. Uh, the big ones of them, what are they called? Let's see what size they are. Size medium, it's called. Those are really nice. And I'm gonna co cover the whole thing in the red set, of course. UV resin, the flexi one, which is nice for this fly. And uh, that's about it. So here we go. <laughs> okay. The hook was the light stinger, size 6 from Amex. And some white thread. Uh, I've just gone back here to the barb. I've taken a few of my uh, pink colored mallard feathers. Just stripped it so it's ready for tying in here. I'm gonna place it on top here. Two loose turns and then just Cool. Oops. Maybe secured a bit more than that. Don't want it. Don't want it too long. That's it. And go back to where I. The tail. Then I'm gonna take my my um, semi seal, the shrimp belly color. It's, a, it's a, almost a white one uh, here towards the back. I'm gonna dump that down here. Just like a, make a little bump, bumper. And just in front of that, I'm gonna take the coho pink one, the coho pink semi seal dubbing, which is a real nice, real nice color in my opinion. Um, form a similar uh, amount of uh, dubbing here. I'm not dubbing it very hard because I'm gonna comb it out with my my uh, brush in just a second. So dubbing. 
something like that. There you go. Uh, and if, when you've done with, with this part, you're gonna take your brush, and just give it a good beating. stuff it's really nice the semi shield of it it's very translucent and comes in some great colors i think it must be my favorite topic to be honest this brand or whatever it's called um yeah and we're just gonna go a little bit backwards to now we formed a little tail as you can see and then i'm gonna take some of my oh i forgot to mention the um, the legs, the semi, the easy shrimp the legs here in the, I'm gonna use clear color uh, this time. Could have prepared those in advance, but you know how it is. Um, I'm just gonna pull these off. And if, if you really uh, went all in, you can just, yeah, I don't think it matters that much to be honest, but it looks good. You could just color those uh, joints here, where the legs bent, with a color, or go all in and paint them in all kinds of uh, colors. If you want to interact, I'm going to snip off the front part, I don't, don't use that. I'm going to take my legs on top of the, up here, I don't know if you can see it up here and uh, a few loose turns make sure it's on top and then I'm just gonna take one turn here behind the last set of legs and you don't want to push too much uh, lose too much strength on your on your on your thread here because uh, that can make the legs go uh, go crazy to the sides so something like that and then i'm gonna take my my eyes and put somewhere if i can find them here they are the easy swim eyes and i'm gonna put those on top this is uh, Going quite fast. I'm gonna place them here be, uh, in between the second last set of legs here, so the eyes are going to be there, and just uh, tie them in. Make sure to secure them right on top of the hook. good and when you're satisfied with the uh, how they are posi positioned I'm gonna secure them a little bit more by using a bit of super thin rates of UV resin because it's just gonna make sure the the legs and the eyes uh, stay where they're supposed to it's not like that it's a problem to be honest but might as well make it the fly more durable. And that was it. Then it's time for my polar bear. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of polar bear to make the end of the fly. Just a little bit. Here's a bunch of polar bear. I'm just gonna get rid of all the wool here. What it was called. Up below the. So I got a little. 
punch here. I'm gonna place these on top and not make them much longer than the legs are out here. And, and tie those in right between the eyes. Could just spread them out a bit. And I usually take some of this and just tie this in as well because it helps table the fly the way you want it. Quite doable fly this one. Um, there we go. Then it's time for some um, super hair. Could use a could use a uh, pink uh, super hair to be honest for for uh, a couple of antennas. Just need two straws of super hair. Super hair is also a nice uh, material in my opinion because. Yeah, I use it on these uh, ESL swims um, a lot, and uh, not not just for antennas, but also as uh, instead of uh, using polar bear, uh, they come in lots of different colors. But this time, it's just going to be antennas. I don't know if they matter much, to be honest. These antennas, but some say that you they are important for the balance of the fly in the water. I don't know. It's just bullshit. People trying to, I don't know. But anyhow, we're gonna, we're gonna tie them in. Then uh, I'm gonna take a little bit more of the coho pink semi seal and I just do like this. Pull and lay on top, pull and lay on top. So we align the fibers here like this I'm gonna place this up here on top of the fly and when I'm satisfied I'm just gonna tie this in as well I'm gonna use this as well to help table the fly See, I've done this a few times before because I, it's, quite, it's quite fast now uh, to tie. So now I got a nice, uh, nice tail. Where was called? So now I'm going out in the front and just using my grip finish. I'm gonna switch to uh, to a nylon thread. Um, could have just used nylon thread the entire for the entire flight, to be honest, but. It's harder to, to I think it's harder to, to use the docking on a night the slippery nylon thread. Um, so that is why. So here's my nylon thread. It's a thin one from Mewes. I'm just gonna secure it up here in the front. There we go. I'm gonna take my uh, coho pink again. And the only thing I need to do is to make a tapered body uh, from here up and up until the the legs. I think this one, uh, this dubbing actually has a bit of UV. Let's see if it has. Yeah, a little bit. UV, uh, UV fluorescent stuff going on, which is, which is nice. If you believe in that sort of sort of um, stuff, I guess it can't hurt. So, as you can see, I'm getting close to the to the legs now. That's where you want to be a little bit careful, because otherwise they're going to go in every freaking direction. Like this. And then I'm going to just take one turn, one uh, turn here behind 
there. Maybe even two. Whew. That's, that's, that's still dangerous. Um, turns around the last set of legs. And that's it. Then it's time for the Pro Fisher. Um, Pro Sport Fisher Pink Shrimp Shell. And these uh, are quite doable. You could, uh, you could uh, strengthen them even further to, with, uh, with just applying a bit of flexible UV resin here on the back. I've done that before. But now we are in a hurry because there's Champions League in a few minutes, so I'm just gonna do it out on this one. You'll get the picture. And then I'm just carefully gonna go backwards. The legs are gonna go crazy now, I know. But we'll sort that a little later. And we're gonna go forward, making sure it stays on top where it's supposed to and up here I'm just gonna refinish there we go again to get some dubbing axing going here underneath and then uh, I'm gonna use the, the flexible uh, UV resin from the red tab here which is nice for this fly in my opinion and uh, just carefully applying this on the shrimp's, shrimp's shell without going everywhere with the, with the glue just doing it nice and easy this one is uh, as you can see with all the stuff going on Quite doable this fly, so it can take a beating and a lot of and a lot of sea trout teeth. So now it's uh, all the uh, covered. Now I'm gonna, gonna take my polar bear up here, and just making sure it's a pull up, pull up here a little bit. While I do that, I'm gonna sap it with my. Light. This, of course, is not gonna keep the, the shape of the fly because it's flexible, the, the euro resin, but uh, it will do its job. And then it's just a matter of, of uh, maybe getting rid of the stuff you don't want. Here up front, and if you think it's a bit too long, it looks a bit weird over here. You could go, just give it a truck more up here. See, I missed a spot up here. This is all detail. Doesn't really matter for you. You got the picture, I think. Uh, the pink ESL shrimp. And uh, this one is nice. Right, as I told you before, nice in the water, quite doable. And uh, it, I've tested it with success. So, in other colors, I mean, I'm sure the pink will work as well in a couple of months when the water gets cold. So, give it a try. And. Uh, Leave a comment and maybe a subscribe for more content and I will see you next time. Bye bye.